Hello there, so today we're going to do this quick little video to show you uh, uh, latch lock slipping, uh, which is a technique of a entry that uh, us locksmiths and sometimes possibly some intruders can, can use as well. Uh, we're not going to do a full demonstration of the actual technique because there are some tricks to sort of making it work and we don't want this to act as like a training video for any would-be intruders. But what we are going to do is just show you the principles and also talk about what you, what you can, uh, precautions you can take. Uh, to prevent this from happening if, if, you're, concern, if you're concerned about it. So uh, what we mean by we when we talk about latch lock slipping is when you use like when our stocks most use these uh, special cars that we have uh, to basically f uh, bypass the key, the key and then just sort of trigger this spring-loaded latch mechanism thereby getting your door open. So what essentially happens is this card pushes the latch away from the key and hence we can then open the door like that. Now on certain door and frame combinations, this technique can work very, very quickly. And when it does, uh, so the householder is often concerned that, you know, they think, oh, hang on, my house appears to be very insecure. Uh, what can I do about this? And we often get asked this, so that's why we thought we would make this video. So uh, if, you do, if you do have this situation, uh, first of all, if when you're in the house, if you put the, the snib on, uh, that will prevent this, uh, that will lock this uh, the bolt here, so the latch. So when you're in the house, you can simply just lock this, lock this snip. Um, obviously, when you're not in the house, you can't do that because this is inside. Often, this, this is, if the lock like this is fitted to your front door, it will often be fitted in conjunction with a, with a mortise lock like this. So if it is, we would suggest obviously locking the mortise lock because once, once the mortise lock is locked, uh, it's locked in place, this surface is flat, there's certainly no way a technique like this is going to work on a mortise lock. So if you already have one of these fitted, we would say use it. If, if you don't, we would say the probably best thing to do is like get one of these fitted. If for uh, whatever reason you don't want to have one of these fitted, there are, there are what are known as uh, deadlocking latch locks, which you can also fit. And these come in uh, what's known as an auto deadlocking latch lock. So this is an auto deadlocking latch lock here. It has this extra tab here. When you first shut the door, this will uh, you know, move in with the, under spring pressure and as normal. But as it springs back, when the door is in a shut position, this, this tab is going to be pressed in. So then this is going to then lock when it comes back out. So now this is locked. So there's no way that technique will work on, on this lock now. But of course, it will be able to be opened with the key or by using this still. So this is what's known as an auto deadlocking latch lock. So you can have one of these fitted. Or uh, slightly cheaper is what's known as a manual deadlocking latch lock, which is one of these. And what you do with these is normally, these are just, they just work under the, the spring pressure as normal. Uh, but when you leave, what you can do is, uh, is what's known as a reverse turn of the key. And what that does is this effectively uh, locks the, uh, locks the uh, latch against the, against the key against the keyway so it can't be pushed in basically so hope that was helpful those are the options um, thank you for watching